are rules. We don't have many of them, but you get five. So if you burn a lap coming off, you have four left. Um, but if we have time at the end of the day, we'll let you make it up if it's a mechanical issue, but not if you're just continuously tuning your car and trying to get more. But if you really do break, we'll, we'll try to work with you. That's about it. Um, it's, a, it's a good course. You guys will have fun out there. It's probably, I think it's a 1.6 miles, something like that. Two big straights and uh, a couple places that come slow you down. You'll see the big barrels. At the end of the big straight, it gets pretty tight through there. There's some big barrels. Don't hit those. Uh, none of this course is on the roval. So if you're on the roval, stop because you're not supposed to be there. Make sure everything's out of your trunk. Make sure everything's tied down. Nothing? All right, guys. So um, cars 11 through 18 can start lining up over here along the fence. You'll see the, my, well, I shouldn't call it my wagon. You'll see a blue wagon that looks just like my old gray wagon. Um, we'll be parked over there, just line up behind that. And uh, cars 1 through 10 head over to the slalom and skid pad as soon as you can. That's it. Yep. Super Chevy Suspension Challenge 2019. This is, uh, Got the, the wagon out here, and uh, we're gonna see what, what's gonna happen today. <laughs> All right, what are your expectations with the wagon, Kevin? Well, I know what it's got underneath it. It's got an awesome suspension. The motor's great, tranny's great. I think it's a killer combination. I think it's gonna do really well. I wouldn't be surprised if we see over 130 down these straightaways. All right, all right. So, Sal, you've done this course before. How you feeling? Uh, pretty good. I mean, I know my way around it, so we we'll just uh, you know make sure this thing legs up as far as we can get it. And then, uh, Feels pretty good. Uh, just got to see what we can get out of it. The tires got to get set in pretty good. The brakes feel good, so should be fun. How, how many miles are on this car right now? Since the rebuild, less than a thousand. <laughs> Not right. a lot of testing yet, so. We'll, uh, we'll... And just as a side note, it drove itself out here today. <laughs> it did not come on a trailer. <laughs> there we go. It shouldn't be going home on a trailer either, so should be fun. Looking forward to it. All right. All right, so what happened? Well, I had to get a feel for the car, and the uh, car feels pretty good. I didn't want to overdrive it and spin it. Uh, and it's brand new, so it's never been beat on like I did. And I uh, wanted to get used to where the shift point was, so I had to figure that out so I wasn't over revving the motor. And uh, the car overall feels really good. Uh, I'm not ready to go as deep as I typically will, but uh, at this point, it's smooth. I just tried to be smooth so I didn't uh, spin it and uh, didn't lose any laps doing that. And uh, the car feels good in all the turns. Uh, just, just a matter of uh, how much harder I want to go uh, 
uh, in the braking side and uh, in the turns because uh, going down the straightaway, I got it to the mat as far as it'll go. I am short shifting it, uh, again, just to be careful, but the uh, car is pretty powerful, runs pretty good, and uh, for the first time on a road course, pretty damn happy with it. It's a good piece. What, uh, what happened on the rear end? Well, I, I just hear a clunky noise. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know what it is. Exhaust hitting or something. It could yeah. be, I, I don't know. I just, uh, when you're going that fast, uh, don't want the, anything bad to happen. So uh, mm -hmm. we're gonna make sure that nothing bad happens. Did you secure the groceries when you went to Costco? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so what's going on? Is the exhaust hitting? Well, uh, we definitely got the exhaust touching uh, the housing, just a little witness marks there, no big deal. Yeah. Well, um, at the top, it's just pinion bars are good, shock is good. Uh, this side sway bar link is good, it's not touching anything. This one either. Okay. okay that's good, no marks on top. Okay, at the end when this is all over, don't leave, don't pack your car up. We do a group shot of all the cars together out on the truck. So when everything's done, while we're tallying up the scores, we'll have everybody out there doing a group shot, all right? Okay, anything else? All right, go fast, don't crash. Let's go. Second, you got 18, so you got a little kick for me first, and then it just went down the line. Pretty simple, uh, no design and engineering award. Today, so we can not pick who we wanted to win. So uh, the winner was picked by math. Um, and uh, so let's see who, who, who did well. I think you all did well, personally. Uh, let's see here. Top five. So fifth place with a score of 43 points. The uh, Detroit Speed uh, car, the red Camaro. Yeah, Rob. Fourth space. Four space. Fourth place. Good luck, man. Driven by Fast Mary Posey with a score of 46 points, Speedway Camaro. Yeah, nice. All right. The 
Third place, I was surprised. I shouldn't have been because I really like wagons. Total cost involved, the 64 Nova wagon in third place with a score of 48 points. <laughs> Bumping up to 52 points, second place. Best of Show Coach Works, Art Morrison sponsored 69 Camaro with Matt O'Connor. <laughs> and with a score of 58 points, uh, he won two of the events. I think I came in second in another one, so it really wasn't hard to figure this out. <laughs> 58 points, the Ride Ted Corvette. <laughs> Get out of the heat, have some yeah. beer, some cold, and we'll see you guys next year, all right? Yeah. Thank you. Well, this is a good sign. Yes, it is. That means it's going home it's going under its home. own power. Going home on its own power, showed up on its own, brought its own support, went home on its own. But the burning question is, though, are you going by Costco on the way home? Home Depot. Oh, all right. Got a fencing project, get, get, gotta pick up some stuff. <laughs> Let's get some hardware. <laughs>